beautiful, beautiful. 2013? 2014. 2014. Mustang GT, and this is not your stock GT. This has, uh, as you can see, it's full Boltons with um, Cooks long tube headers, off road X pipe, Gen 3 Whipple 2.9. I-80 1050 injectors, running full E85, return style fuel system, and pushing what, 730 to the 732. wheels. 730 to the wheels. I'm gonna come over and you wanna speak on the mods that it has? So basically, uh, yeah, it's a full bolt on. Uh, it's a Whipple Supercharged Gen 3, uh, E85, full, uh, full exhaust system with Cook's header X pipe. I upgraded my Mishimoto radiator, upgraded the hoses. Um, Mishimoto catch can. It's a straightforward build, but very effective. Very awesome, very awesome. This car, I mean, it's pushing. I know guys, what you're gonna say, this is a Gen 1 motor. You're pushing a little bit more power than what you're supposed to, but it's, so far this car has taken it like a champ. It used to run on nitrous, 600 to the wheels, and that is a 2013 GT500. Very cool. One thing that I think this car is obviously is helping out a lot is that it's running on E85. Obviously, you guys know E85, way cooler uh, temperatures, a lot better for pre-ignition on the motor. And uh, yeah, this car looks just amazing. It's running a set of skinnies up front. It's got Brembo's on the front, blackout um, 5.0 badge. You're running Mickey Tonsom's Street, ET Street SS. Perfect. And this car, as you can see, I mean, you can see the views that he has, but he takes it like a champ. Stock transmission, MT-82. Yeah, it definitely works like a champ, that transmission I coming up. The, uh, I upgraded the clutch to a McLeod RST and the clutch line, as well as an MGW shifter in order to not miss gears and keep the transmission alive because uh, otherwise the MT-82s are known to, yeah. to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then we have Bassani, cat back on the back, like I said, headers, X-pipe. I really like the diffuser that it has on the back. Did that come from the factory? That no, comes? it's a food diffuser. The Instagram, if you guys want to follow. Another thing, my friend has a YouTube channel. Grip Girl. I'm just starting off now. It's mainly racing videos. I'm going to start doing more of these where I'm going to vlog a little bit and, right, and do right. more car, in-depth cars. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. So make sure you go support him. Let's look at the, take a look at the interior. So this car is the base car, but it has racing seat and uh, very simple but very clean inside. Sitting inside this car, I mean the seats do a great job. Very clean, I love this kind of carbon fiber accent. And here I put some gauges. Mm -hmm. uh, basically this is my boost gauge, my fuel pressure gauge. Uh, very important because yeah, when you're in this power level, you wanna keep an eye more on your fuel pressure Boost is just there to see how much I'm boosting is. I already know what I'm boosting, but the fuel pressure, the moment you see that go down, you gotta let go, otherwise, you're gonna blow Kaboom. it. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> I love the steering wheel. Uh, feels good, leather. And uh, this is the base car, but honestly, it's all that you need um, for this car. I mean, if you see there in the center console, I have two switches. Yeah. They used it? to be for my nitrous. So the right one was oh, to the perch, gotcha. and the other one was to activate it. Uh, but now, what I did is I relocated that switch. If you turn it on, mm -hmm. if you flip it on. Can I? Yeah. You're going to turn this on or hit up the gates. Oh, there you go. That is so cool. I mean, let's, let's take another good look at this motor. This one has a monoblade um, throttle body. Monoblade, 132 millimeter throttle body from Whipple. Yeah, that'll swallow your Civic. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, I love Cook's long tube headers. I had Cook's long tube headers on my, I had a tube off with a supercharger years ago, and those are one of the best yeah, headers yeah, for the- Very good quality. Yeah, very good. really, really good quality. You know this channel is mainly about Terminators, but this car, I'm telling you, it's, it's worth it. 
I'm gonna have a lot of Terminator racing in my channel as well. Yeah. Including the one that came in your channel not so long ago. Yeah, the blue one. Vice City. Vice City Performance. Vice City Performance. There we show you awesome, awesome um, car. The reason why I'm on the back is because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> race car. Race car. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a, a front seat. and uh, But man, this car is so... I mean, it's S197s. Uh, now, for some reason, some people don't like them. Uh, I don't understand why. It's because they never been in one. They never have one. Me personally, I had an 05 Mustang GT. You guys never seen it because that was before I had my channel. And that car was nothing but good. And that was a three valve. That wasn't even a five valve. So tell us about your, your five liter, your experience, and will you recommend this car? And when you bought it, how much you paid, all the good stuff. All right. Uh, basically, I'm the first owner. I bought it in 2014. Right when the S550 was gonna come out, so S550, uh, the S550, yeah. which is the next generation, starting in right here. Yeah. starting in 2015. Um, I have seen pictures. Obviously, I never dro uh, drove one because it was brand new. Right. Uh, it didn't convince me. Uh, I've always wanted the 2014 platform. I came from an 03 two valve, which is the same uh, generation as your Terminator. Yep. Obviously, it's not a Terminator, but same body edge. style, a new edge. Um, and I've always loved the S197. Uh, went to the dealer, I traded in my, my new Edge, got an amazing deal for it, and I bought this one, $27,000 out the door. I couldn't say no to that, you know. Um, I bought the base model because I really just wanted the body style of the car. I was never into having all these extra features inside. Pay more for something that you eventually got to swap out. going to swap out, and I did myself. Right. So. The car has been great. The car has the only issue the car ever gave me was the the uh, motor for this window failed on me one time. Really? Took it to the dealer, they replaced it. That's the only car, the only issue this car has ever given me. Nothing, nothing. I've taken this car on a road trip all the way to North Carolina. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, S one ninety seven are are very comfortable yeah. cars. I mean, I, I remember my three valve. You could just take it for long road trips, and it will be so really. You have a lot more space than the new Edge platform interior, and it's just it's a better interior. Let's face it, it's you know it's a um, progression. It's like the S550. S550 interior is better than this. Way better than this interior. Yeah, yeah. but um, these cars are very comfortable. And tell us about your build, just a little bit. I mean, okay, so over the mods. But... Right. So I bought the car. I just wanted the body style. I enjoy the car. I wanted a new car because my 03 was already showing its age, even though I, I loved it. Right. Um, so I bought this car and believe it or not, I had it stock for three years. Not even a cold air intake in this car it was stock. It was stock. It looked like a monster truck. <laughs> From the, the, height four was, four. the height was horrible, but right. I loved the car because it was the car that I wanted to have. So after three years, I was finally financially stable and I'm like, you know what? I'm going all out on the car. So I picked up the phone, called a buddy of mine. He knows a lot about Mustangs. He made me a list and within a month, my car was full Boltons E85 with a 150 shot of nitrous. That's crazy. All within a month. Pump gas? Was it on E85? On E85. E85. I have both tunes, okay. but I was mainly running E85. And what happened with the nitrous? Um, I had it for a year. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it just got a little bit tiresome uh, right. at the time. Every time I would go race or have fun with it, right. it, was, it was a 150 shot, so it would waste a little bit faster than I would have liked to. Um, so after four pulls, uh, that's it. The, the power was gone. Yeah. So I played by, you know, the same smiles per gallon. Right. So when the nitrous was over, there's no more smiles. There's no more smiles, <laughs> right? Because you get used to it. You get used the to the nitrous, power, right? right? And then once you run it on water, you're like, this is very slow. <laughs> yeah, correct. Very slow. Yep. So, I mean, that, that's um, what happens. Yeah. So one year, full nitrous, and then that's it. I got tired of it. I'm like, I'm going to go supercharge the car. So then I started doing my research. Uh, do I want to go VMP? Do I want to go Whipple? Uh, I even looked into the Edel Edelbrock. I Edelbrock. Think yeah, Edelbrock. And, you uh, ever considered a Vortec or a Paxton I did. I did. I wanted a Paxton. Um, okay. The, the reason why I didn't go Paxton is because I'm a manual. Okay. And those Paxton, they they work on, on maintaining the car on RPMs. Right. They build boost They by build boost by RPMs similar to a turbo, even though they're belt driven. Yeah. So it would have been fun because the car will feel more NA when I'm not on boost. Yeah. Um, 
but power wise it but wasn't I think it drives to be honest I mean back here it really drives like a stock car I mean I would have never guessed that you have a supercharger oh, right because right. it's just the drivability is there yeah. even on E85 yeah. I mean it's yeah. just idle super smooth and it's very 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 cool uh, Whipple has been doing some amazing work as of late uh, the Gen 5 Supercharger, even though you have the Gen 3, really awesome. The 2.9 series uh, is, I mean, for the 03 and 04 Cobra, they just have done amazing. Right. Uh, a lot of 03 and 04 Cobras in the 9 seconds um, stock motor. I mean, in this car, too. A bunch of this cars on stock motor running 9 seconds. Right. They, they're amazing, they're reliable, and you know, Whipple just builds yeah. really good. Whipple is proven. It's proven. It's, proven. it's, it's yeah. proven. It's like, you put a whip on a car, you know what you're getting, and right. you know the guarantee behind the item that, that you're getting. I'm not sponsored by Whipple by any point, any means, or anything like that. I'm just speaking out of my own experience, uh, out of a feedback of a product that I've had over for for a year now. Whipple, if you're listening, please <laughs> consider. <laughs> <laughs> I future, need a Whipple <laughs> for future for future uh, oh, three improvements. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been talking about really good things. Oh, it's my, by the way, it's my first time on a Whipple car. Oh, that's never right. been on a Whipple car. Cool. Not even a Terminator. I've been uh, on the BMP, Vice City Performance Terminator, and that was really cool. And this is 730 wheel. Guys, and we're gonna do something different this time. I bought a Dragon here. You wanna show? See here? So, we're gonna be able to give you feedback, and we're gonna be able to see mile per hour, and you know, it's really gonna bring a new element to the video, which is really cool. Another thing, follow my guy. I mean, he's really awesome. He took his time and showed his car, and, and that's really nice, you know. Thank you, I appreciate it. So show the car, you know, and, and show us, and, and take us for a ride, and do pulls for us. So it's really, really, really nice of him. Yeah. Like a nighttime? Yeah. Bro, this thing rips, man. 